Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris and today I'm going to be doing a shave with a soap I used quite a while back I just fancied it today, it's 30, I think it's about 38 degrees today, it's absolutely boiling outside I just fancied something nice and sweet and refreshing and this one fits the bill Shave a Heaven Hubba Hubba, my number 2 of 2016 and it's just, bubblegum lovers eat your heart out, it's absolutely beautiful stuff and a shame that you can't actually get hold of it anymore It's um, at this stage, unobtain them. So that's uh, beautiful stuff. Tony Port, Cognac, Pinot Noir, Vanilla, Raspberry, Cinnamon and Clove. Just on the front there. And the ingredients list for the Shave of Heaven is extremely clean. I would read them out to you, but it would take me half an hour with my knackered eyes to try and read the small writing on you. I need my glasses on. Yeah, so today I'm going to be doing face shave using that. Um, and I'm going to also be doing a head shave today as well using the exact same soap. I've got water everywhere on the floor. <laughs> Absolute mess. But before I do, before I do anything at all, I'm just going to pop some of this on my head. The Edwin Jagger pre shave. Just to keep the old whiskers on the head nice and soft. I've just been having a bit of a chat with Douglas Smythe on Facebook. Nothing shave related, it's actually diet related and health style related. I wasn't aware that Douglas used to be vegan and is now a vegetarian. Um, I am not a vegetarian or a vegan. I do however follow a paleo lifestyle. For those of you that are sitting there going, what the hell is a paleo lifestyle? Basically, two years ago, well if I go back a little bit further in the story, when I was still in the police force, um, or in the police can't use force anymore. Um, I suffered from kidney stones. I spent about two years going to the gym six days a week, taking supplements left, right and centre, pre-workouts, intra-workouts, post-workouts, protein powders, tablets, pills, everything, vitamins, the whole lot. And in the end, my body had had enough and I ended up with uh, kidney stones. For those of you that have had kidney stones, you will know my pain. And from what I hear and from what pregnant women say, pregnant women that have had babies and that have had kidney stones, a lot of them say the kidney stones was more painful. So I hope that gives you a bit of an idea of how painful it really is. I was in excruciating agony, 30 years old, well 28 years old, crying my eyes out. So it was, it was bad stuff. So as a result of that and putting a lot of weight on, uh, at my heaviest I was 101.3 kilos, which was about two years ago. Um, I was actually sat at work, my job at the time was an office job in the police, uh, making phone calls, taking phone calls, that was all I sort of did. And while sitting there, a TV commercial came on, um, talking about this paleo lifestyle and it gets you healthy and everything. So me and my wife looked into it, one of our favourite chefs, Pete Evans, does it. And that was what got us into it. And two years later, well, it's about 19, 20 months later, uh, I've lost 23 kilos and I'm fitter and healthier than I've ever been and I've never felt this good in my 32 years on the planet so it's a, it's a lot to be said for eating healthy and eating all natural, all free range, all organic as best you can um, I don't eat grains, I don't eat dairy, don't drink dairy Don't nothing grains, no dairy, no gluten um, everything's all natural produce, I don't eat anything out of packets I don't eat anything with any colours, numbers, anything at all everything is just whole foods as it's meant to be and as much as it's difficult to begin with, once you get the hang of it, it really works well. But anyway, Douglas, uh, kudos to you, Mike, uh, for doing what you do. And I did say that it, he's one of those guys, when you see him on camera, he looks fresh, he looks healthy, he looks glowing. And I think a lot of that's down to diet and the way you look after yourself. Um, and I think, obviously, I wish it... If I'd done this maybe 10 years ago, I might not have lost all my hair, who knows? It could have been all the chemicals and crap I've been eating for the last 15, 20, 30 years that's uh, done this to me, you know, and damaged, damaged parts of your body. Probably not, but you just don't know. But anyway, I'll get back to shaving because I've probably bored the arse off you guys. Uh, so yeah, shave a heaven, hubba hubba. I'm using my Edwin Jagger Synthetic, which topped my pole for brushes in 2016. I don't think it'll top my pole in 2017. I've got some nice stuff on the way. I didn't do a video last night, but I did actually shave my wife's legs last night. I used this last night with the Shave of Heaven um, 
God, that's terrible. I can't remember the name of it now. And he told me the name of it because it was driving me absolutely nuts. <laughs> I was going to say chocolate mountain, but it's actually chalk delight. So it smells like it. It smells to me like chocolate mountain protein powder that I used to drink, a uh, protein shake when I was doing the weights. I did my wife last night with this. But I can still smell classic 24. So, uh, Darren, whatever you put in your soaps, mate, makes my brushes smell lovely. Right, okay. I need to get stuck in here. This is going to take forever doing this. The razor of choice today is my Mugress because I'm going to be doing a blade review. Everything else I've used here today, the blade I haven't. Now, one thing I've noticed with this blade, you guys probably won't see it on the camera, but there's actually more showing on one side than the other. It's very small, probably only half a millimetre to a millimetre, but I can see it. And doesn't matter which way I flip the blade round, it's always out a little bit on one side. It's straight, so I'm assuming I'm going to find one side a little bit uh, less efficient than the other side, the way, the way it's actually sat in there. And the blade is the Gillette Gold Super Platinum. And it's actually got on the on the on the actual blade itself. I think it's a uh, new and improved stainless, so it must be a new new a new steel that they've used. But anyway, let's get going. I know this stuff lathers great, so I'm not worried about that. I know it's got great protection and great slickness, so I'm not worried about that. The only thing that's going to change my shave today will be the blade. And obviously, the last Gillette that I used, I used twice, was the Gillette Nasect Nasset uh, on setting three. I've got this blade on setting three as well. So here we go, I've just soaked my brush. I don't bloom this soap, crack is soap, never need to bloom it, it'll last ages. And just straight in there. And then I'm going to face ladder today for my face, and I'll probably bowl ladder for my head on my next video, as you can see. God, I don't even need to smell it over there, you know, I can smell it back here. It's, oh, it's just beautiful stuff. Such a shame that uh, they cease trading. Hopefully Anthony gets it back up and running again because his scents are just incredible. But then again, it's difficult in Australia, it really is. Sorry, I just had to go to the front door there. Um, yeah, so it's, it's difficult to compete in the world from Australia, unfortunately, because just the way it is. The shaving in Australia is a lot bigger than what it used to be from what I can see from the forums and things like that. And most of the guys over here are very passionate about the hobby, as am I. Now I've probably got enough on here to do 15 passes, but I love the stuff that much. Alright, I'm just going to wet the face. I don't know why I turned the tap on then. Let me just tilt this camera down just a touch. There we go. So, got the blush, blush, got the blush loaded, got the brush nice and loaded. I'm just going to put that little bit on there and then. It's not a thing that I've, it's something I've only recently started doing face ladders. I do prefer. I do like doing a bowl ladder because it just gives you a little bit more control I find over the end product of the soap, the ladder itself. Just going to dip the tips in, just a little bit dry, that's better. Yeah, so I used the West Coast shaving open comb head last night for my wife's shave on her legs and it was um, worked really really well. I had a feather blade in there because my wife's, the hairs of my wife's legs are so fine and soft so I needed something, at least a sharp blade and literally one pass against the grain uh, from top to bottom and there was nothing left, absolutely nothing left. There's no nicks, no cuts, no razor burn, no bumps, no nothing, absolutely nothing. It was just a brilliant shave. And that was using the shaver having chopped the light. Um, I did use some pre-shave as well, the Parasso pre-shave, just to sort of 
soften the hairs up a little bit more and to give the skin a bit of a moisturising before I did it. Oh, just missed a little bit there. As you can see guys, you cannot go wrong with this lather. It's just beautiful stuff. Right, what else am I doing here? Losing my mind is. I don't know about the lights, I wonder if this makes a difference. I don't know. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that light on. I normally have that light on when I do my shaves. But if you guys can just pop a comment on there what, what light you prefer, whether you prefer that light on, which is quite bright, it's quite an orange yellow sort of light, or whether you prefer it with it off and just the, the white lights on. I don't know what sort of, I think that sort of changes my skin tone. No, I think I, I think I prefer that myself. I'm going to keep it at that just now. If you think it's better with the light on, let me know and I'll do it with the light on next time. So here we go, I've got the Gillette Goal. I think they're made in China, these blades. Uh, the Mergress setting three. I don't think I like that. Oh jeez, no, I, I can't use that guys. That is absolutely horrible. I'm going to turn this video off and I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, so what I've done is I've switched the blade over. I've gone Gillette Platinum now. The Gillette Gold, big fail. I ain't using that again, that's absolutely shocking shave. If someone else has had a different experience with it, please let me know. I might try another blade off camera one time, but that's... That's one of the worst blades I've ever used. In fact, I would say it probably is the worst blade I've used. And straight away, I can see a big difference in the blade alignment on this blade. I'll tell if I turned it the right way around. No, what's the right way around? What's going on here? I do find with this razor, I do have to move the move the blade around around a little bit just to get the right angle on it. As you can see how good that lather is, that's just sitting there, hasn't budged. So let's see if this feels any better. Yeah, what a difference. That is an enormous difference. Very smooth. Yeah, that, um, that Gillette Gold, I don't even think it would cut through a piece of paper. It's shot, it's really bad. If any of you guys have used it before, it looks great. I'll probably keep it just for the novelty of it. Being a soccer fan myself, or football fan, if you're in the UK. This Gillette Platt, beautiful, really nice blade. Interesting to see how I go down here today. I had two ingrown hairs on here last night, I was quite surprised. Um, but I have been every now and then just going a little bit against the grain just here and there. Now this blade, excuse me, this blade feels very similar to the Gillette Nasset, Nasset, whatever it's called. And I just want to do a bit of a slickness test for you guys so you can see this, how good this soap really is. Let's soak after one pass. Just brilliant stuff, really is. There we go, pass number two.
I left the camera rolling, sorry guys. Um, another meal call, brilliant. Guess what's in there? Oh, I can't wait to do this. I'll do an unboxing after the shave. I'm gutted now, I wish I could, I could have had a shave with this now. Right, let's just finish off this second lather. This is just wonderful stuff. The scent's beautiful. Sit and pass across the green. Slickness and protection with these shoe heaven soaps. This is good as any soap out there, in my opinion. As much as Wickham took out my top goal for 2016, that was mainly the scent. The actual performance of the Wickham's and the Shave of Heaven OSP and everything are pretty much spot on together. They've all got their own little bits that help each other out, but uh, in general they're generally better um, than any uh, sort of big brands and things like that mass produced stuff. But they've just got their own little tweaks, their own little scents, their own little things that make them unique to, to their own soap makers. Um, right, so pass number three. Just gonna That package has thrown me off a little bit there. That's quick shipping. That's really quick shipping. To say that's come from the UK, I ordered that on the 28th of December, I think. So thank you very much, James, for that. Look at this lather. This is a third pass lather. My skin is super smooth already. So I find it normally hard with a lot of soaps to keep it going. No such troubles with this stuff. Brilliant. Right, across the green, other direction. Move it to the side, I just keep going. Right, just a few pickups round the lips. So far, this blade I would say is just pretty much an identical copy of the, the Nasset. It feels exactly the same, feels very smooth. Very efficient, it's quite sharp, but it's very, very comfortable. Looking flick. Can't go wrong. Oh, the 
the slickness is so good on this soap, it's hard to wash it off. It's, and the, that post shave feels just beautiful. It really is. This is the vegan formula, so it's not the tallow base, it's vegan. Super slick, but the, I mean, that is so moist. Moist, I keep using that word at the moment, I hate the word moist. Soft, moisturised. <laughs> right, I'm going to finish off with the Razor Rock Allen Block. feedback here and there just to add a little tiny spot but nothing nothing to write home about and then I just give that a dry with a towel I don't know if that's the way you should do it it's the way I do it so cold water no cold, warm water don't have any cold water in Australia anymore Hot summers. Although, given our recent year summers, it's a very mild one this year. Uh, I'm going to finish off now with Bluebeard's Revenge Cooling Moisturiser. I love this stuff. Now, I did actually see a bit of a debate online over this stuff because of the the way it's worded up for men. In my opinion, it's just. It's just a laugh, really. I know some people might take offence to it, but you know, to, I think the world's becoming far too serious. People are starting to read into things far too much. Now, yeah, it might be written up there for men, but this stuff works great. I don't care who uses it, men, women, anyone. It smells great, and it does a great job, no matter what it says on the box. And if you're offended by it, I do apologise if you don't like me using it because of that. But just because someone writes something on a box, some people just get on the high horse and go to town on it. I, to me, I find it quite... I, I think the world needs a bit of that every now and then. It needs to be lightened up, it needs a bit of a, bit of a laugh. Because um, the world's become such a dark, horrible place. And a lot of the time, with a lot of people, there's just no light at the end of the tunnel. Well, that's the way they see it. And I've been there. I've suffered from depression, anxiety, all sorts of things when I was in the place. So I've been there, I understand what people go through. And just little things like that just bring a smile to my face when I read things. You know, and the, the people that probably haven't been through it and don't understand it won't get that effect from it, I don't think. And I think sometimes it's, uh, as much as there's a lot of empathy out there and a lot of sympathy for people, if you haven't been through stuff, you can't really, you can't relate, you, you can't understand it. Um, so, yeah, Bluebeard's Revenge, you're doing a cracking job. Your stuff's awesome. I don't know who makes it for you. I don't know whether you make it yourself or whether someone else makes it for you and you stick your labels on it. But I enjoy your packaging. I like what you write on it. It, it brings a smile to my face, makes me laugh, and I think it's good stuff. Um, right, that's me done. Uh, face shave, what have I used? Oh God, I've rambled on here, I tell you what. Shave of heaven. Hubba hubba. Beautiful soap. There's not many, but I mean, I've got a few artisans now. Obviously, got an OSP down there. I've got some more stuff on the way. I don't know what it is yet, but I've got some coming. Um, it's just beautiful stuff. It's a shame they don't make it anymore. But hopefully, Anthony will come back again. I don't know whether he's just taking some time out or whether it just wasn't working. Or, you know, money's a money's an amazing thing. When you're making it, you're happy. If you're not making it and you're struggling, then you've got to try something else. So, hopefully, it comes back. If it doesn't, then at least I've got a few tubs on it. Um, brush today was Arctic, uh, Arctic Mango. <laughs> Jeez. The brush today is Arctic Mango. Now the brush today, it was the Urban Jagger Synthetic. Beautiful brush, love this brush. Just going to leave that in there for my head shave because I don't want to waste any. Uh, the, the razor was the Murgress with a brand new Gillette Platinum. Beautiful blade, really really enjoyed that. Just going to clean this razor up, put the blade straight back in and then um, use that for my next shave as well, just to give it a, a pass, a second pass with the same blade. Uh, then we finished off with the Razor Rock Allen Block. Lovely stuff. It does suck the moisture out of your skin, so guys, if you do use an Allen Block, make sure that you wash it off and then moisturise afterwards to put that moisture back in. I do find it really sucks the moisture out. And then I finished off with Bluebeard Revenge Cooling Moisturiser, which is beautifully scented, beautifully slick, and 
it's dried in already. I've got a little bit of a weeper down here, but I'm not worried about that. I'll sort that after my head shave. Anyway, guys, I've done enough rambling. Thanks for listening to all my crap for the day. Uh, you can listen to it again if you want in the head shave. Uh, I'll just talk some other crap on there. But yeah, I really enjoyed that shave today, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. It's Wednesday. We're nearly done. It's almost Friday. I'm really looking forward to getting to the weekend because I've got no work at the weekend. And I shall catch you guys next time. Cheers. Oh, actually, while I'm here, before I go, um, just a, a big thank you to everyone that, that went into the giveaway, everyone that subscribed, everyone that comes along and watches all the time. Uh, and just congratulations again to uh, to Cobra. That's his, uh, what a cracking name, uh, Cobra, uh, who actually won the giveaway uh, over in the USA. His package has been sent, and I'm sure he'll really enjoy it when it gets there. Uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you, everyone, again. Thanks a lot. Catch you next time.